Welcome. This is lesson 3.7, and this will cover the Cutter Studio. As you can see, we have uh, our ring here with all the prongs and all the stones. The only thing missing is obviously the holes where the stones will fit into. Right now, the stones are just thrown in there. So let's do something uh, to so our computer can work a little bit easier. I'm gonna, uh, in the jewelry tools, I'm gonna use our uh, selection tools. To select the prongs, which I'm not going to do anything with right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and, using the middle mouse button, I'll go ahead and use hide. To put those prongs away and that I can actually see better what I'm doing, and also less memory and video being used to display. Now, I'm going to pick the larger stone. I'm going to start with that one since it's very different than the other one, uh, the other stones. And I'll go ahead and click on Cutter Studio. Take a few seconds to open up. And here it is. Uh, let me go back to our four views here and select the stone. Now, after I select the stones, it places a, a cutter inside there. Uh, right now, we can't see it because it's the original configuration is uh, very small, uh, but we can see it right here, right now. See this square piece here and kind of square piece in here? That's the cutter. Now we have to decide over here how we want to configure it. So maybe over here I can put like 300 to make that stick out uh, up there. And uh, instead of 50% of the stone, and I want that to be actually 100% of the stone. I want the top to be cut straight out. Now notice that if I click on, on this one over here, notice that now I'm making the bottom bigger or smaller. So once again, it's up to you how you do that. And you configure this part over here as you like. Now, uh, now, this, now these configure their diameter in relation to the stone by percentage. These here also by percentage give you the length, their length up and down. So you can decide how high you want the, the, the section for the girdle to be. So we can go there and notice that that's getting higher. Uh, we can change, you know, the middle portion. Now we can change the lower, make it go down this way, maybe create a seat about there. And then we can come in here and change this over here to go back in and uh, now we can make this much longer probably going to need probably about 400 there to come out the bottom of the of the stone but now as you know now that i kind of more or less see what i've done here let me look at it in uh, perspective and here we see it there it is and it looks like it's pretty good it's nice and big on the bottom let a lot lets a lot of light through the stone which is important we want to we want that to happen and uh it looks good i mean i'm happy with that so i'm going to go ahead and click okay and that is uh, it's in there and all i have to do right now is go to uh modeling and use our boolean difference Pick the, 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 pick the ring, enter, then pick the cutter, enter, now we go to modeling, then we go to boolean, difference now it's asking to select the first set of surfaces or poly surfaces that would be the ring which is what we are keeping we hit enter and then it's asking to select the second set which is the cutter we hit enter and if we put the stone away now if we hide it we can see that the cutter did its job we now have a very nice opening and seat for our stone in there you know ready to go now what we'll do is we'll pick one of these guys and follow the same procedure. We'll go to Jewelry, we'll go to Cutter Studio, 
and we select there's the cutter let's look at it here in the x-ray kind of view and make sure that everything looks good let me see if I can get a better view probably here if I go to wireframe view I can actually see much better by zooming in what's going on okay so here it is uh, I'll kind of do the same kind of things I did in the other uh, cutter I want it over here to be 100 percent and uh, there we go this one there and this one here there and then uh, in this case this one is is not really going to go out the bottom of the ring because you know it's never going we can't turn it that way so we just want a nice little hole and a little space in there now in this case i don't want this negative uh thing going on over here so i'm going to take this back not that small and i'm also going to make that kind of short over here just to the stone i don't want too too deep of a hole to collect dirt in there so uh there's our there's our cutter and now i want that cutter let me go back to uh rendered now that we have that cutter there, we need to repeat that cutter for all these stones. So we'll go ahead and click similar. They're all added and we can click OK. And very simple guys, all we have to do now is maybe put in this angle. I'm gonna go to modeling. We're gonna go to Boolean difference. This one, enter all these guys enter now that's going to take a few seconds and then after that see now if we put the stone the stones away we have the seat and the opening on the bottom there for our stones so very very simple guys we can bring everything back now and here's our ring all set and all nice now if we go to the jewelry real quick and select the gemstones and hide them here's all our, our metal and then we can see we got all our prongs and we got all our openings and this this uh this ring is ready ready to be exported and ready for production